All right, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, we are nearing Maker's End, the place where Olin said he discovered an image of the woman who looks like Aloy um, on his focus in on an ancient machine. Um, we are near a rock breaker site where you can see them popping out of the ground up there. And you just heard a long leg. Uh, the mysterious caller who's been calling us on our focus, uh, who helped us when we encountered, when we found Olin, uh, said, or has given us some perplexing little nuggets of information about this, uh, about this woman. And, uh, now we gotta see if we can figure out what the heck is going on. Let's get going, okay? In between a rock breaker and a long leg? <laughs> Trampler, site discovered. Now, one thing that I've discovered is that uh, Ridgewood is extremely rare in this area. So my bow heavy Gonna need this. Uh, style of combat, I have to be very careful with. So I take on something like a rock breaker, I run out of arrows very quickly. And I'm out of wire too, damn. Oh boy. Alright. He's told us to continue on our present course. That's Maker's End up there. Next thing I'm going to do is... Go for that campfire. and try not to get killed on the way. Dang, rock breakers be tough. Quickly light that thing and then get the heck out of the way. Fire kiln, okay. So he's also warned us against going over to this place here because he said the people who ordered our death, uh, Aloy's death, uh, believed that they were successful, so revealing ourselves would be disadvantageous. I'm gonna see if I can get to this vantage point. Uh, if it'll let me, because it is kind of overlooking over here, but I'm gonna try. That's better. Well, there's some ridge wood. And I might have to take on some of the, uh... Um lower level machines just to get some wire which I need to craft my precision arrows That was the long leg calling other machines in the area. It'd be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. So since I'm not looking for a fight, I'm just looking for wire. I'm not sticking around. Ooh, how do I get up? Huh. 
This is probably not the way they want you to get up there. May not even be an effective way to get up there. But it's the way I'm going. That ring looks like an arena of some sort. And that looks like a way down from wherever the van- oh, there's the vantage point, I see it. Cannot get to it this way. Easier when I was a kid. wires but not enough. So we'll stick with hardpoint arrows for now. Full already. Alright, so let's see what this vantage point has to offer. Bryce Orbital. Day twelve. As we watch the booster arc up into the night sky. Riding a pillar of flame, you took my hand, squeezed it, and said, You have written the story of our family across the stars. Interesting. That so-called arena is a launch tube for some sort of spacecraft. Or the top of one, anyway. <laughs> Alright, where to next? Uh, would be this campfire. Uh, yeah, so campfire, metal flower, and then I'm gonna pop over here to this campfire. How to get down without dying. Ouch. Sorry, Aloy. Hey, Ridgewood. I need that. So I got that campfire, so now up to this metal flower. And it's high up, of course it is. And there's Glintox around, because of course there are. I freaking hate Glintox. Gotta give credit to Gorilla Games, they don't, uh, they provide a path, but they don't prevent you from, uh, finding your own, shall we say. <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, it's all the way up there where those wind hogs are. Dang it. Found my metal flower. <laughs> now, what were you doing out here? That's the last metal flower. By its own nature, it towers above the tangle of rivers. Don't say it's a lot of dirt piled high. Without end, the mist of dawn, the evening cloud. Draw their shadows across it. For the from the four directions, you can look up and see it, green and steep and wild. So I'm closing out my collectible collections. <laughs> so next I want to go over to this campfire over here. So we are going to gradually work our way up here to Maker's End. So this campfire would be my next stop. Way down.
take on any low-level machines I find to try and get some wire, but I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. Handy. campfire so now I'm gonna get this campfire them soon enough. Alright. Made it to that campfire. Next is going to be this uh, side quest here. See who wants what. The fact that it is near a bandit camp makes me think that maybe that's nil. We'll see. Yep, 
Hello, Nil. This should be a very interesting conversation. I waited for you. Time passing pulls the anticipation tight as wire. Ah, how many has it been now? I don't keep count, no. Don't keep count? Sometimes I just don't get you. Are you like us, or a little different? Hopefully a little different. Mm, that's what you're gonna tell yourself. Shall we get started? He seems... a little on edge. Maybe it's just me. Oh, Rockbreaker Heart. Turns out I didn't have one of those before. <laughs> but I do now. Alright, well, this may cause this episode to go a little long because bandit camps usually take a whole episode to themselves. But that was the next thing I was going to do anyway, so... Here's how this is going to go. Depending on how long this takes, I am either going to extend the episode or do a cut in the middle. Wash away the scent for now. So, if you have a sudden fade to black that you weren't expecting, that's why. And I'll still show up at the end of the episode to bid my farewell. But I don't want you to not be aware that it's a possibility. Can't be too prepared. Another watch post over there. Obligatory, you merely adopted the shadows joke. So I guess those are a little dated now. Don't mind me. that was not as silent of a strike as it was supposed to be. They're leaving.
I try and go the stealthy route, but uh, that's shot now. Hit him hard. Fire spit are not as fun as I as it sounds. Mostly because of that charge up period. There's the prisoners. Should give me the upper hand. All right, let's go free the. Since uh, stealth is blown anyway, let's uh, go free the prisoners. Trouble that he's just up in the room. Keep an eye. There's my collectible, Sterling Malkeet. A uh, cracked and battered vessel, once dear to the old ones, bears the legend Sterling Malkeet. Sets of ancient vessels can be traded in Meridian for valuable rewards. That completes my set two. Hold on, I'll get you out. Are you ready to move? Cleared all the bandit camps too. Sweet. Just because he failed to kill the Sun King doesn't mean he's any less guilty. He should pay. Apparently, clearing the uh, bandit camp makes the rain go away too. And Nil wants to talk. Uh, going down fast. That was definitely less um, uh, refined of an approach than I usually like. But I'm also at maximum level, so let's be honest, I don't exactly need the experience of stealth kills anymore. All right, Nil. What do you want to talk about? These little moments are refreshing, aren't they? That could be the least creepy thing you've said to me. Oh, that glimpse of yourself in their eyes just as the cloud of death passes across them. Never mind, there it goes. This gives us a chance to ask about some of these things. I'm really curious what he has to say about Sunstone Rock. You know, Nil, if you get tired of bandits, there is a group called the Eclipse. That's a political situation. 
They're murderers, and they're raising an army of machines. That's a little more than politics. Don't hate me for being single-minded. Besides, I wouldn't bet on how long the Shadow Quarter are going to last, if you're in for the kill. He's got a point there. I saw Sunstone Rock for myself. Only visiting, I hope. Karja justice has become so complicated. Is Geneva still shackled there? Geneva is the warden, if that's what you mean. Oh, such a waste of an intoxicating ferocity. We fought together. And each other. Ah, oh, but don't let me get sentimental. We've come a long way from Noraland. Where have you been, Nil? I heard the roads of the Sundom were no longer safe. And thankfully, it was true. Ambushes, raiding parties, even corrupted machines. The mortal wounds just opened themselves to accept my arrows. But you knew this already. You've been walking on the edge of life and death. I can tell. Yeah. It's a long story. With many quick endings, I hope. I wonder if this is the last we'll ever see of Nil. Goodbye, Nell. I don't want to alarm you, but the bandits are thinning out. Makes you wish you could kill them more than once, doesn't it? No, once is enough. You're right, of course, once is enough. When you really make it count. Okay, goodbye, Nell. I think she wanted that uh, conversation to end. <laughs> New side quest, cause for concern, farewell. Let's see what's there. Nil, a mysterious outlander, invites Aloy to raid bandit camps with him when their paths cross. Talk to Nil. Cause for concern, farewell. That seems like something we're going to do next episode. So, you know the drill. Uh, click over there. Uh, join me next time when we um, see what Nil has to say about this uh, farewell here. Talk to you later.